If you're tired of buying sprinklers at the store for your lawn or garden that just don't last, this is the video for you because I'm going to show you how to build your own sprinkler that's fully customizable in an easy way that's just going to take a few minutes but give you some big results. I've tried to simplify this design to use as few pieces as possible, have as few cuts as possible, and be something really simple to do so that you could quickly make one yourself. Now this doesn't look like a whole lot, in fact you don't see any sprinkler heads, but that's okay because what we need to do first is build the basic frame for the sprinkler, is we're going to mark off three six inch pieces. So we're going to take our ruler, six inches, six inches from that one. You can either use a traditional saw just like this, and this is fine, you'll want to brace your pipe on the edge of a set of stairs, so you're going to pull backwards first, you put a little bit of pressure. And it's usually best to do that a couple of times because what you're trying to do is make a small mark in the pipe so that you can get started and then you can start to saw back and forth until it's done. And this works just fine, but if you own one of these, these are called a PVC cutter. And this is a pretty cool tool. You just place the pipe in it, line it up with your mark, and you're going to squeeze this tool and you can see how quickly that cuts the piece. It also gives you a really clean cut. Now this tool is only about 10 bucks and I'll link this as well in case you're interested in buying one. But you can see how fast this can do the cutting for you and we'll do the third six inch piece. Take our ruler. I'm going to mark this right to about three inches. And this is a single step glue, so this makes life really easy and it's clear. So if you've ever seen anyone assemble PVC projects before, you've probably seen that purple stain around the edges. And since this is going to be something you'll have on your lawn, it's not a bad thing if it looks a little bit better. And because this is only one step, we only have to do one thing to make all these things stick together. Is take our first piece of pipe. Let's do one end at a time. We're going to coat it with this glue. And the first thing we're going to do is put it into this part here. Give it a twist, and that's already very tightly locked in, and it'll be waterproof in just a few minutes. Put a good coating there. And this piece here is actually our hose fitting. This is going to be where your garden hose is going to connect to it. So this piece actually rotates, but it's got a glue joint on the end. Can okay, you give it a squeeze? and the rotating part doesn't get glue on it. Now this is a little bit different than our end cap because this is the piece that is going to allow us to connect multiple sprinklers together. And this piece is actually going to be pointing forward. Now we're going to connect our special end to this piece which is the expansion fitting which goes on just as easily. I like to work one end at a time, it makes it a little bit easier. Sometimes if you try to glue the whole thing and put it together, it ends up being a real mess because when this glue starts to set up, you only have a few seconds to turn it before it locks in. So it's better to just do it one piece at a time just like this, you'll get much better results. This is a really important piece. This is where our sprinkler is going to connect. And and this is the one piece that you really want to make sure is pointing straight up and be as level as possible. You can set it down if you want and take a look at it. And you have a couple of seconds to adjust it. So this is our sprinkler all completed where everything is glued. Even doing this on video just took a few minutes. So if you're going to make a bunch of these, it's really easy. And these parts are very inexpensive and it's totally something you can do yourself. But right here is where you connect it to your garden hose. And this is where the water is going to go into the sprinkler. So when you first get started, if you're not going to build more than one of these, you'll just put a little cap on the end. It doesn't have to be metal like that, that just happened to be a one I had. So if you want to just water grass and you have a large area, you could use a sprinkler head like this. And this is actually an in-ground sprinkler head. This is an inexpensive head that will actually screw right into this fitting. You don't need to put Teflon tape or anything, especially where this is just going to go outside. If a little bit of water leaks, that's not a problem at all. It's just going to go in the grass. With this one, you're going to be able to do about 25 to 35 feet. And even both of these are adjustable. So whichever head you put on, you can make further adjustments. So here's another option right here that you can use. This is an all metal head. But normally when you're using this kind of a head, you wouldn't screw it directly into this because it's just going to be a little bit too low. You can use this simple screw and extension. We'll put our top piece on. And now you've got a sprinkler that's much higher and you can also 
adapt this sprinkler on it. Now you could use this setup to do very tall areas, maybe had plants that were real high up, but again, it's the same sprinkler base, and this design allows you to customize this all kinds of different ways. It won't corrode because it's all very solid plastic. If anything should break on it or if the head should break, you just simply replace the part that breaks and your sprinkler will still keep working. Now keep in mind the single head goes a really far away, so even as far away as I am, I'm still not far away <laughs> enough to not get wet. So I gotta pull back a little further. You'd never get this far with a store-bought sprinkler. They just don't ever go this far. Now we're gonna try our smaller head. This thing puts out less water, but it works exactly the same as the larger head, so we'll switch this and try it out. So this head is firing out less water, but it has a great pattern, so this might be a better choice depending how large your yard is. Now we're going to try the one that really is one of my favorites. I love this brass head. I just love the noise that it makes and it really reminds me kind of the old days. And this concludes how to build your own sprinkler. This is a great project, it's cheap and easy, and it really gives you some big results. And if you wanna modify it, that's easy to do as well. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and comment below for more videos.